this video, um, I'm going to be going over um, why the uh, total enthalpy is constant along a streamline for this problem, which will come into play in uh, Proko's equation, um, which I'll be going over next, hopefully. Um, so we're going to be looking at the energy equation in general. So there are lots of different forms of the energy equation uh, depending on what kind of energy you cast the equation in terms of. So uh, for example, we have uh, the equation in terms of total energy, uh, internal energy, enthalpy, total enthalpy. You can change between like internal en energy to enthalpy by using the equation uh, H equals E plus P over rho, which is the enthalpy is equal to the internal energy plus the pressure over the density. Um, and you can manipulate the energy equation to get it in terms of variables that you like. So what we're going to look at is the energy equation in terms of the total enthalpy, H sub zero, or H naught. Um, so this is the energy equation right here um, without any um, frictional or viscous effects uh, in the equation right now. So it's a uh, rho and then the substantial or total derivative of the enthalpy uh, is equal to the change in pressure with the change, uh, with the change in time plus the density times the, uh, the rate of, of heat uh, added and then plus the density times the uh, body force term. So if you look back at the assumptions video that we made for the Taylor McCall problem, uh, we noted that uh, we're dealing with steady flow, um, which means that steady flow, the time derivative here goes to zero. Uh, if we're dealing with adiabatic, that means the heat term goes to zero, and then no body forces, this term goes to zero, and the inviscid assumption is already taken into account because there's no viscous forces in here. Um, in this particular energy equation. Um, so this ends up leading to this left-hand side. So we're canceling terms on the right-hand side. So let's leave this with the left-hand side. Rho dh naught dt is equal to zero. And then if you integrate this, uh, you end up with the uh, total enthalpy uh, has to equal a constant. So that means that along the streamline in the flow, the total enthalpy is going to be constant. Um, and in the next video, I'll be going over um, a vector identity proof. Um, and then after that, I'll be going over Krakow's equation, and you'll see where this comes into play there. Thanks for watching.